As the Sonic the Hedgehog series of platform games has grown in popularity, its publisher Sega has expanded the franchise into multiple different genres. Among these are several educational video games designed to appeal to young children. The first attempt to create an educational Sonic game was Teartex Design Studio Sonic's Edusoft for the Master System in late 1991, which was cancelled despite having been nearly finished. When Sega launched the Sega Pico in 1994, it released Sonic the Hedgehog's Game World and Tales and the Music Maker for it. Orion Interactive also developed the 1996 Sega PC game Sonic's Schoolhouse, which used a 3D game engine and had an exceptionally large marketing budget. In the mid-2000s, LeapFrog Enterprises released educational Sonic games for its Leapster and LeapFrog DIDJ. History Sonic the Hedgehog is one of the best-selling video game franchises ever, selling over 80 million units for the combined series as of 2011. The original game, a side-scrolling platform game, was developed by Sonic Team in Japan. Released by Sega in 1991, it greatly increased the popularity of the Sega Genesis in North America and established Sega as Nintendo's main rival in the console market. With the game's popularity, the series began to expand into other genres. While Sonic the Hedgehog 2 began development in late 1991, the Manchester-based Teartex Design Studios began to work on an educational video game set in the Sonic universe called Sonic's Edusoft for the Master System. Edusoft was made using sprites ripped from the original game. Despite having been nearly finished, it was cancelled. The game was not licensed by Sega, but the company did express interest in it and could have potentially published it jointly with U.S. Gold. In 1994, Sega released the Sega Pico, an edutainment device powered by the same hardware used by the Genesis. The system was designed to appear similar to a laptop, a stylus called the Magic Pen, and a pad to draw on. As Sonic had become Sega's mascot, Sega released two educational games featuring characters from the Sonic franchise, Sonic the Hedgehog's Game World and Tales and the Music Maker. Game World was developed by Aspect Co., the studio that produced the majority of the Game Gear Sonic games. Another educational game, Wacky World's Creativity Studio, was released for the Genesis in 1994. Though it is not a Sonic game, Sonic does feature in it. In 1996, Sega and Orion Interactive collaborated to produce Sonic Schoolhouse, an educational game in the Sega PC brand for Microsoft Windows. It was developed using a game engine similar to Wolfenstein 3D's, and 10 educators and psychologists helped create the game's challenges. A cartoon clock was originally the star of the game but was replaced with Sonic, thus, Sonic's schoolhouse is only tenuously connected to the rest of the franchise. The game was released as part of Sega's $20 million United States dollars. Blue is back! Marketing campaign to promote six Sonic games releasing in the holiday shopping season, advertisements for the game were run in magazines and it was promoted in store displays. Sonic's Schoolhouse also came bundled coupons worth $40 United States dollars in discounts for Sonic merchandise, including comics and plush toys. In the mid 2000s, Leapfrog Enterprises published two educational Sonic platformers, Taurus Games Sonic X and Real Time Associates Sonic the Hedgehog, for the Leapster and Leapfrog DIDJ, respectively. Topic. Games Topic. Sonic's Edusoft Release date, unreleased developed in 1991 Developer, Teartex Design Studios Planned Publishers Platform, Master Systems Nix Edusoft would have been the first educational Sonic game, the series' third entry overall, and the first Sonic game that was not developed in Japan. The game was aimed at five-year-olds and centers around a series of minigames that feature math and spelling questions. Minigames are accessed from an isometric hub world and more non-educational games can be unlocked after a certain number of educational ones are beaten. 
The game was virtually unknown until one of the game's programmers created a Wikipedia page about it, which was deleted after being deemed a hoax. The programmer later emailed screenshots to Sonic fansites but was unable to prove it was real. Edusoft was confirmed to be real after its ROM image was eventually leaked. Topic. Sonic the Hedgehog's Game World Release date Developer, Aspect Co. Publisher, Sega Platform, Sega Pico Sonic the Hedgehog's Game World was the first of two Sonic games to be released for the Sega Pico. The game takes the form of a picture book and changes the set of tasks the player must accomplish when a page is turned. Aimed at children ages 4 to 7, GameWorld stars Sonic, Tails, and Amy and features 13 minigames that are designed to teach the player problem solving. <laughs> Tails and the Music Maker Release date Developer, Appaloosa Interactive Publisher, Sega Platform, Sega Picatales and the Music Maker was the second Sonic game to be released for the Sega Pico. It features Tails and is designed to teach children ages 3 to 7 about making music. Tails and the Music Maker uses the same picture book form that GameWorld uses. The game features several mini-games, including Travels with Tails, in which the player guides Tails through three levels, and Percussion Pinball in which Tails is placed in a pinball environment. Topic. Sonic's Schoolhouse Release date Developer, Orion Interactive Publisher, Sega Platform, Microsoft Windows Sonic's Schoolhouse is aimed at children aged 5 to 9 and takes place in a 3D environment viewed from a first-person perspective. The gameplay has been likened to Doom 1993, but the primary difference is that players must solve spelling, math, and reading questions in several difficulty levels based on age group. Sonic is not playable, instead acting as a guide. Topic. Sonic X Release date Developer, Taurus Games Publisher, Leapfrog Enterprises Platform, Leaps to Sonic X is based on the anime series of the same name and was released by Leapfrog Enterprises for the Leaps to handheld game console. It stars Sonic and a boy named Chris, who must save Tails, Amy, and Knuckles from Dr. Eggman. The player must guide Sonic through three levels, periodically stopping to answer math questions. The three levels, Station Square, Angel Island, and Eggman's base feature sequencing, addition, and subtraction respectively. Topic. Sonic the Hedgehog Release date Developer, Real-Time Associates Publisher, Leapfrog Enterprises Platform, Leapfrog Dig The DIDJ version of Sonic the Hedgehog is a side-scrolling platformer similar to the original Genesis Sonic games, but has numerous mini-games that are designed to teach spelling. It is aimed at children ages 7 to 10. Topic. Reception Jexvideo.com regarded the educational Sonic games as obscure. According to the programmer who worked on Sonic's Edusoft, the game was tested at a primary school in Didsbury, Manchester and was well received. Retro Gamer expressed disappointment that it remained relatively unknown and offered praise for its chunky visual style. They also wondered if the kids realized how lucky they were to get to play an unreleased and often forgotten Sonic game. Reviewing Sonic's Schoolhouse, Hardcore Gaming 101 was strongly negative, calling it a bare-bones edutainment title that offer s neither education or entertainment of any sort. They criticized its voice acting, visuals, lack of difficulty and educational value, and poor use of the Sonic license, deeming it a 
rather cynical attempt from Sega to tie it in with their mascot, and urging readers to instead play the Leapster games. GamesRadar Plus said Sonic's schoolhouse was only vaguely educational and a grade schooler's nightmare. <laughs> Notes <laughs>